Hello guys, today I'm going to share three different products from the company DinShare and uh, I've decided I, I have one um, already one product uh, from DinShare and uh, I've decided uh, that why not uh, all the tools I should purchase uh, from this company itself and have a collection of all these tools in the um, um, in my workshop. So basically the first one which I purchased is this uh, cordless chainsaw model is JC6001 and uh, second one is uh, Dinshare cordless chainsaw again this is a chainsaw uh, model is JC6002 the first one is 4 inches and the second one is um, 6 inches chainsaw uh, good for the small um, uh, jobs uh, when you are uh, doing your DIY work and the third and the last tool in uh, this uh, in this unboxing review is cordless recipro reciprocating saw the model is JC3003 as you see the look and feel even the boxes are also same uh, except the content in these boxes right so uh, they comes very uh, neatly uh, packed in a in our bag and this is a storage bag and inside this bag you will find the um, uh, chainsaw same thing is for the other chainsaw and same thing for the uh, recipro reciprocating saw so more or less if you see the the bags are same uh, but the tool is different so uh, this way you have the consistency in storing and keeping these tools uh, in your workshop very nicely so let's open the first one that is the dinshare cordless chainsaw and this comes with two batteries as you see this is the tool uh, very well made uh, tool um, it's not like uh, um, uh, cheap tool it is kind of a sturdy and uh, it comes with two batteries and these are 18.5 um, volts uh, lithium ion 2.0 uh, 3.7 volt batteries and uh, maximum charging voltage is 20 volts and this has the spare chain also and it also comes with the oil user manual and in case if you have to remove the existing chain um, uh, you could uh, uh, literally uh, use this tool to remove that chain and the chain is here as you see it looks very nice nothing fancy about this one good looking tool and it just goes like this lithium 20 volt max battery and it's pretty handy and as you see this is other way around for small jobs it is going to really help and um, uh, cut the um, uh, wood or light metal using this saw uh, we, are, we are going I am going to demonstrate this by cutting the small stems of the wood so this is the first one and it looks very nice also uh, it will look uh, nice in the workshop so that is this one the first one uh, that is 4 inch chainsaw model JC6001 then the second one which and yes of course and I forget to mention it comes with the charger also the way charging works is it's a extension it just goes over here and you hook up this to the uh, power plug and the charging will begin so this is the first one now let's open the second one and I'm going to you are going to see the same setup for the second one the only difference is that this one is the four inches and the second one is going to be the uh, six inches chainsaw so again the same thing the chainsaw is six inches little bigger than whatever we have six inches saw and you you'll see over here the marking also which says that it is a six inches uh, six inch um, uh, saw two batteries first one second one and uh, both these batteries are lithium 20 volt max batteries what that means is that now i can use these uh, six inches batteries in the four inches because they are exactly same and this also comes with 
the same tools the additional chain the tool manual and the charger this also basically you have to just hook it up this particular battery like this and remove this cover and you are ready to go and once you press this one this locks the uh, knob or trigger uh, basically it's kind of a safety mechanism unless and until you press from this side and as you see over here there is a symbol which shows that this is in the lock mode or no unlock mode so right now it is unlock mode and because of that i am able to trigger it if i press this one this becomes lock now i am not able to trigger this chainsaw so this is the second one and uh, as you see the setup looks exactly same the way it is for the four inches and the last one is the cordless reciproc re reciprocating saw the model is jc303 this is also on the similar line same thing similar type of setup only thing is it is uh, the blades you have to attach the bla bla blades over here so this is the first one it, it comes with the manuals and the different types of blades and these blades are universal you could use any blades which are available in the market so these blades will go here i will show you one blade and i'll demonstrate also how it works so user manual four different types of blades and this blades has written over there what it is good for so this particular ba um, blade is you uh, good for wood this one is good for metal this one is also again good for wood metal wood and metal so it comes with total six blades with different teeth sizes so this is for the fine tune work as you see the blade has very small teeth so this is fine tune this one has a big um, this is for the big woods or stem cutting and this also comes with the charger this charger this charger is little different and uh, uh, it also comes with one bat one battery this doesn't have two batteries uh, but it is again the 20 volt max battery so this also goes here you charge and you have now the uh, 20 volts battery available so now i'm going to attach this one in the similar fashion the way um, we demo i demonstrated it for the cordless chainsaw so you attach it and this should be sturdy and it is going very fast same mechanism it has lock lock uh, lock mechanism here which will lock the entire uh, activating mechanism uh, it doesn't comes with uh, two battery it has only one battery but that's good enough this has a charger so either you have option to charge like this or you have option to uh, charge in this fashion so as you see the look and feel and everything looks same so if I if I take out the battery of the uh, receiver uh, and the uh, chainsaw and attach it to the reciprocating saw, it will work. So that means you have now I, I have now like total four four uh, two two and one total five batteries with one charger or direct charging via the. Um, uh, power outlet so look wise also it is going to look very nice in your workshop because all the tools are tools are from one company only and uh, these are pretty um, uh, these are available on Amazon at a reasonable rate uh, compared to the uh, big shop uh, uh, tools these tools are up to the same mark they have the same performance they give the same performance but um, they are at reasonable rate and you can have the complete arsenal of tools uh, in your workshop um, 
uh, with the same type of uh, uh, from the same company so I'm going to demonstrate uh, the six inch saw and the uh, this tool on some of the wood uh, left or wood uh, to show you that how exactly it works and where you could use these um, chainsaws I have the uh, woods on the back side and uh, they, I'm going to use over there to cut some small stems of the um, trees and this one more for my DIY work I have two wood stems um, uh, and I'm going I'm going to cut using this uh, uh, saw let's see and these are dry wood. And as you see it's pretty nice it's cut uh, this is around uh, two inches and let's now cut this uh, little bigger one and I was able to cut these stems without any problem so definitely good tool uh, for uh, small work or small uh, stems um, handy tool which you can carry anywhere uh, now with this one uh, let's now go over to the next one that is the reciprocating tool so make sure that you switch off lock it before installing the uh, blade so I'm going to install the blade wood blade like this and it goes over here so you have to just twist this one it will allow you to put the blade inside and it automatically the spring motion will lock that blade so now you have this lock blade so now I'm going to cut the same wood piece um, using this uh, reciprocating saw uh, let me get the new uh, new a stem which is little bigger so I'm going to cut this uh, uh, one inch um, uh, stem using this one and I was able to cut this piece very nicely the only thing is that since it was wobbly I was not able to cut it sharp uh, but yes um, uh, this is a kind of a handy reciprocating saw to cut the um, uh, wood pieces and this is pretty powerful and even if if you have the um, uh, trees or anything uh, stems that also you can uh, cut using this one so let me show you something I have here I'll try cutting this one and as you see I was able to cut without any problem so yeah it is a kind of a handy tool uh, um, you can carry anywhere and uh, it has a lot of uh, horsepower uh, in it Please uh, let me know if you have any questions um, and I will put the Amazon uh, purchase links for these tools uh, in the description below. Thanks for watching.